Hello, everyone. Welcome to Top 4 Coverage of the Online Championship. Chris Nirvana Tool here, still kicking. I'm joined by two esteemed guests for uh, commentary here. We will start us off with Woodrow. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, how's it going? I'm doing well, enjoying my weekend, and excited that the, the cut is this weekend. Excited to watch it and be able to pitch in with commentary. There you go. And then also we have, so we have, you know, I guess the figure of good in the community, and then we got the figure of mischief in the community, Forge Cake. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> uh, doing all right, Chris. Doing all right. Good to have you back for commentary. You did so good turn one the uh, first time yeah. in fact, kid. We figured we'd have you your, back. Uh, your Twitch didn't get banned, so that's good. That's Yet. good news. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> and what we have here is Zod versus Adar- Adarmi. We've seen Godino, who we saw victorious against Koryos Bodak. Last one in the top eight. See if he can keep it going, but he's got a different opponent here. Brickta, the fourth se- four seed, is playing against a very aggressive Adarmi deck. Uh, and it'll be confusing because the username is Brickta. Their untapped name is Lord Winter. And they are playing Adarmi. So, not Zod. Three, three Warlord <laughs> names, yeah. Uh, and already, you can see the, the double preen showing up to punish the Spencer brother start. I mean, that's so harsh. He gets one strike in and dies. Yeah, DC 13s, you know, nothing to laugh about when it comes to uh, the Spencers. Yeah, that Spencer didn't even hit. He didn't have to spend a, a Danris. Yeah, it feels so. bad. So, uh, Godino doing his normal, you know, Zod Uber turtling things, dropping a strength in a door, which uh, is going to be extremely troublesome for the Adderme. It's yeah. just eight, I mean, 8 HP and the ability to heal once per turn. It's just like, that's the definition of solid ranks, <laughs> especially against low strike weenie blitz like a Darmy. Yeah, he needed, I feel like he needed to get like the nuts, you know, like the unison thrill of victory all that stuff going off to and make the preen something. checks yeah well yeah everything need to go his way yeah instead we have strength in the front door to the world already and another preen check ready to go i will say if there's a little bit of um there's a little bit of play here because uh adarmi has double rosalie in the second rank so We'll have to see if Godino is patient enough to wait for those additional strikes to go somewhere before he uses the additional preen. Or because if he uses other preen too early, um, Adarmi can come in with a late turn, uh, level one, and Ooh, double pump it, blazing good. medallion, that kind of stuff. Yeah, what do you even name? Uh, you probably name like Brother Domini or something like a strong level one. Uh, so he does, yeah, yep, Brother Domini. Called it right there. Oh. Okay, they were both in deck though, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're both in deck. Uh, still, it's not like too too bad, too harsh. That this one Domini I could see living for quite some time, maybe. Like unless he swings and just hits right now, makes me look like a fool. Yeah, I wonder what the rationale was on firing that so soon. Uh, I think you he could have waited because it 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 tears out of your hand in your deck. Uh, so he could have waited for a Darmi to pop the order, potentially go and get one. And then do it. Kanaika imprisoned oh, is very good. Imprisoned Prison's not bad. Yeah. That's a great call for the tournament for sure, based off of what we saw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Godino's running the so we, we have three different Zods right now live in top four. One is essentially a brown bordered R tech. One is kind of like an Uber light where he moves up, but he also builds at the same time. And then there's Godino's deck, which is twenty five characters. A lot of them just being, you know, meatheads that he can stun up. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the one where Adarmi will need the most pressure uh, to get a victory. Because Godino can just sit here and do this all day. And if Adarmi doesn't throw out Sir Thomas or Winter Warfare or get some kind of multi-wounding, um, it's going to be hard to get enough strikes out. Yeah, definitely agree with that one. Uh, him running, I think, I'm pretty sure every single card besides uh, Door and Denali, maybe Supply, have three hit points, too, in his deck. <laughs> Not a single one. Like, they're all animals. There goes the staff to cover future future Darmy activations. And he went and got an Adept Ray. Just two strikes. Mm-hmm. I guess he figures he has enough fighters, so it's like, let me just get this guy out of here. 
Oh, Lord Winter's rolling is not good right now. Or Brick does. Yeah, and I was mentioning something before the stream. I was wrong. This I had a, the I had my wires crossed and was thinking of a different Adarmi deck. I don't think that um I don't think this Adarmi pilot is running uh Black Seal Daggers and Portable Holes. So this really just needs to be the level one show. But he does have Winter Warfare, which is a great uh, great card for this matchup if he can, you know, find it in time. Here we go. Here comes an adept ray swinging to the fences. I think what is that? Four strikes right there. Yep. Ian unsullied. <laughs> Level one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Those are not the rolls, my friend. Let's see how turn two oh goes God. for him. Because <laughs> this is did he, miserable. Did the Alliance standard succeed on there? I didn't no, catch that. No, he rolled a five. Yeah, he rolled, he rolled a five for that, too. Well, yeah, Door to the World, still ready. <laughs> Maybe he has a Blazing Medallion? I'm not sure if he runs it. No, we uh, saw that. He has an Imprisoned and... Oh, that's uh, right. I forget what the other card was. I didn't write it down. Okay. I think uh, with Black the double Moss. Rosalie... I think he Black plays Moss. three Blazing Medallion with the, the double Rosalie, so that would have been a good one to rip. Might as well use it. Mm. Yeah, you know, kill Donner's, kill Donner's, I guess. Yeah, this is This is bad, though. Turn one. Yeah, I don't know if I agree inflict with one the wound. Prison. Oh, the the play. Yeah, that's doesn't do a whole whole lot. And he just stuns him up to the front again. Like the only thing mm -hmm. you do is get corn to the front. Like mm -hmm. he should have held that. In my opinion, should have held that until he got him to like an eye formation situation. Yeah, sure. Might be a little frustration here, just in the rolls. Doesn't even no. Sleep. That that is true. <laughs> that is. Yeah. A, I know. I would be uh, tilted right now. Yep. If my rolls were <laughs> that way. His first Spencer miss died, and then after that he was able to kill one character in the whole turn with a double with a double Rosalie start uncontested. That yeah. That was a terrible first turn for a Darmy. Like it was eight or nine strikes that he had that turn and he killed one Donris because they're rolling. Dice Silver open. lining. But yeah, this so is it. Here we go. Twenty for initiative. Let's see if we can turn this around. And the Karanos, the, the Mass Blessing Light. The Silver Lining, Zod only has one item so far. That's the trade-off for Godino's version, is that he doesn't have a lot of duplicates of his items, so he just kind of has to slowly, over the course of three or four turns, get, th get things equipped. You got the two most important ones on now, though. So. Yeah, that this makes it so even if the worst happens, you can still equip his items into the front rank. Also true. Here goes Preen getting rid of the Black Moss, potentially. At least uh, maybe Charisma could work a little bit better. Yeah, I think if we're, uh, if we're bricked to here, we, we kind of watch to see where this is going to go, especially by the end of this turn, and then you consider scooping. Um, yeah, because you don't want to yep. go too too deep into time. Exactly. Just because if, if you, you've kind of seen how turn one went, you got to see like what your hand is, see how this goes, really. I mean, it can go any either way, of course, but uh, if it goes sour, it's just like, all right, I need all 110 minutes to win game two. And then once you win game two, then that's fine. It's no more time limit after that because you can't have a timer on the top four anyway. So we'll see. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm playing a Darmy here, I go through the end of this turn. And then, you know, just almost no matter how it goes, grab my next five cards and then see what's in it. And if I think I can get it from the next five cards, then fine, we have a game. If not, then yeah, you probably just scoop. Uncontested loyalties reward. I don't think uh, Gurio runs into the tunnels in his deck, does he? I don't believe so. That would have been nice. I guess he wants to just draw more instead of waiting a bit. Ooh, that probably stopped him from playing his Denali. 
more supply exhausting the griffin mm. that's big yeah that's huge when you can lock ranks out like that so he'll have to maneuver a preen forward or play level four and and stun them up if he wants to try and get the ranks he could move Adonra's back mm-hmm. i'm really rooting for brick down this one just because of his crappy rolling like we've all been there <laughs> Switches out the griffin for an iron. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Was not expecting that. Yeah, I'm rooting for Darmy in the match, I think, just because it's, you know, three Zods in the top four. But in this particular game, I, I can't place a bet on a Darmy here. This is this is looking pretty rough. It's looking rough, but he's still his AC isn't terribly high. Like it's bad, but not that bad. Yeah, but Iron Fang is uh Meteor Swarm on a stick, and that's pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Best. Uh, one of my, who am I kidding? Brick is, with the way Brick has been rolling, they're all going to be ones. At least Sir Titan's shield doesn't give him writing. Otherwise, <laughs> that'd yeah, be rough. This would be trouble. Does he not know about the untapped Patreon and, and the the benefits? I know. So you say that, but then it, <laughs> it it does make you pay the Pied Piper every now and then. I can I can I can attest to that. There we go. Into the tunnels. Godino does not run into the tunnels. Okay. Probably sacrifice that for more draw. Mm -hmm. So it was Torn he was trying to play. That's that's it's a good a clutch one. It's a good one. Yep. Just draw characters one of each item. He gets rid of the Habit Lawn, uh, which I don't know. Against all these little guys, I think the extra strikes is. I think because he has the Iron Fang, like you pretty much just close the ranks in with that. Like you kill as much as you can and. You know, you do run supply. It's not that big of a deal to get rid of a HI stance. That's true. Silver lining here, although the double preens don't help, but we do have two Rosalies and a Blazing Medallion now. So a Darmy has turned into... Um, yeah, the gas is turned on right now. It is. It is. I think he can look one more time. I, I think of this next hand has exactly Winter Warfare in it. There's a chance. He's he's because he didn't use did he use he didn't use a blazing medallion yet so he does have Kanaikov again swinging away yeah you can start breaking some ranks I it, like it and Core's banner though oh, man mm -hmm. yeah he's not gonna pass that check though dueling banners nobody ever passes Core's banner checks he didn't fail one against me well Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what then, can I tell and, you? <laughs> and then I woke up with a paralyzed face because he beat me so bad. <laughs> All right, he's doing some work here. Yep. And Gondino's oh, like, you know what? Let's go. He gave him the Zod. Yeah, that's that's big. Putting Zod forward. That was very smart uh, by him. I mean, obviously, he wouldn't want to send the premium to the staff, but still, it's just huge to have that Iron Fang ready at the start of the next turn. Uh, Brother Dominic's going to be gone, most likely. Or potentially. Uh, we, could, we could take bets on who's going to live, who's going to die from this Iron Fang. I think Dominic and Spencer are going to live. I think the other two are going to die. I'm going to say he hmm. passes all of them. Whoa! Hot take. Three, three fails, one on pass. Yep. I'll say three fails, one pass, but I don't know what, who it's going to be. We'll say Karanos makes it. All right, there we go. Take the safe bet. So, yeah, this the Iron Fang's going to be a beating. Yeah, they might be talking about something here. Maybe Brickton might be considering his options. Just really thinking if he wants to go right. ahead with it. Twenty-four AC can reduce two wounds a turn. And he's got six hit points. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess he wounded him. He rolled a tw natural 20. Oh, no, he rolled an 11. Oh, they were just he's counting. Probably going, he's probably going yep. for corn. Yep. To the dice. Oh, this oh, is. He kind of, was going kind of for Zod. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you might as well. It, there's no reason unless you're gonna unless you're sure you're gonna kill Corn this turn, you're just turning on his uh his extra strike, so 
Those were it's on. See, like right here would have been like great time for like an imprison, you know? Yeah. Like get the corn out, stun up either the torn or the preen. I'm not sure what was happening action wise, but at some point Zod should have grabbed Repost, and I don't think that happened. But that's okay. No, for some reason a lot of Zod players forget that Titan Shield gives abilities. Mm -hmm. No, Repost would have been good there. He could have killed the Aikub after the first swing, and yeah, taken away a bunch of his swings. I think we're going to need to see a whole bunch of black moss in order to kind of get this going. Mm -hmm. oh, this, is the, this is the Iron Fang. Oh, yeah. no. I have gone. Karanos, <laughs> make it. Is. No, I'm, I'm still alive. No, you're still alive, yeah. There goes Karanos. Yes, oh, Karanos shit. makes it, and then Spencer fails. <laughs> Jesus, already there. All yep. right, so <laughs> back it owes you a dollar. <laughs> That's how we'll play that one. <laughs> yep. In fact, it says hi in the chat. Mm -hmm. Well, then. So, Woodrow, why do you hate that kid? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. He's, he's probably my best friend. I was thinking the other day, um, yeah, I don't have a, a godfather for my children yet. I was thinking about asking him, actually. Ooh, that's uh, he would absolutely scoop. say yes to that one. Yeah, oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, no scoop. He's swinging. I didn't start a timer, but they can't be in a good spot time-wise for... We went live the, the second they went, so they were about 18 minutes or so into the match. Um, okay. Yeah. They have a little bit of time. They, they did... They did yeah, the... he, used, he used the Iron Fang. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's... I think it's winnable. I think he could do it. Yeah. Yeah, just because he already proved he could hit once, you know. I think he could hit more. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just saw Cardinal's blessing get searched out. I don't, that might just be his last option. That might be just why he's grabbing it. And that strength running up. Mm-hmm. It'll kind of depend on the corn. Oh, he gave a strike from Rosalie. Now he's going to swing on the con. If he misses here, it's huge. Does he run rally to the cause? Twelve hits on the nose. That is very sad. I wonder if it was better to go for the Alliance before you went for the Rosalie. Just to try and get him out of range. That kid is asking if it's game one. Bro, take a look at the top right corner. All right, I upped the production value of this just for you. It says we are in game one. It is currently 0-0. Zero, zero. Hmm. Uh, I think he's ditching it for Torn. That's right, yeah, dude, Mother. We got that production value going. Those Twitch dollars, see? They're hard at work. Twitch monies. Yeah, even if he had missed the the Corrin strike there, I mean, we still have Preen. We still have Zod with the ability to give give himself repose. So it's yeah, he's not still an uphill it, battle. Though. Well, maybe not, but it's still an uphill battle. He's not going to forget the preen, I don't think, on the first strike. You know, if something's nah, got a rose leaf. He's been pretty good with the preens. Yeah, so it's it's still an uphill battle. There must be something really good in Adarmi's hand um, for Lord Winter to be comfortable continuing this game. Oh, it just gets worse and worse. The awkward, th the awkward thing about the decision making with against Zod rather is that sometimes he doesn't have a lot of offense. Like here, uh, you know, he's got Iron Fang, but he's only doing two strikes a turn. So sometimes it can be a little hard to concede to that because it's like, well, you know, how twenties exist? How many strikes do I need to, to get lucky with? But he's got Medicine, Cores Banner, Door to the World, a Preen, um, and access to Repost and Iron Fang. If he doesn't, if Adarmi doesn't win this turn, I think you. you don't yeah, keep I think playing. I think you could you even if you, like after you see the bramble, like once mm -hmm. he plays bramble, like then you just gotta scoop because you don't have a you're not gonna be you're playing uphill battle even more at that point because you're just gonna wipe your ranks every turn. And well, he already is pretty huge. He has a bramble. He has Iron Fang. Yeah, but he runs like once you because once a turn you could like build your ranks back up afterwards, right? Sure. But you can't really do that after like an Iron Fang and then a Bramble. Like you can't sure. do that. You're not coming back from that. Sure. 
Adarmi, no more characters, it looks like, as she popped the standard on Karanos. I think that was a failed green check. It was Godinos rolling, so maybe that was the... Um, the oh, he gets repost from... Maybe uh, medicine Triumph. and then... Yeah, me medicine and then... Or not medicine, but... Uh, no, he didn't spin the banner. I don't know why he rolled three times, but... Uh, and it was Triumph. Sure. It was repost, so he probably reposted the first strike. Okay. We're still going. <laughs> Fair enough. Darmy is not giving up. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> my never back down, never afraid attitude got me to the top four. I'm still going. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I, you know, never say never in Warlord 1s and 20s exist, but I'm kind of mentally <laughs> checked out from a Darby. Like, I don't know if no more characters in the hand. That was the end of it. You know, what could be in there that's going to be that relevant? That you could cut through. What is it? He's got two hit points from the, the shield now. And now he's about to get Denali right. because he went backwards with Iron Fang. Didn't he use Iron Fang in the beginning of the And then turn? He, he writing checked with the end. Oh, writing checked it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so there he's go. got nine total hit points with one wound on him, and he can prevent two, heal one each turn. So He's getting rid of the King's Lady, though, to do this. So that's a big Yeah, he, you want Bramble in this matchup. In this situation, though? Yeah, why not? Because it's just I a think... Darmy in the front? Yeah, you have power attack. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I think like you just hit twice. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Godino, we saw another Medusan Lord uh, might when he flipped it. So mm -hmm. he, I always thought he had only had one. Looks like he has multiple. Nah, I think he runs like two or three of them. I forget. I think maybe two. He's running two. Damn. That, okay, that makes that explains why he was drawing it so often. I thought he was just kept drawing it on hopes and dreams. I was like, damn, kid. <laughs> nah, he was running multiples. I, mean, I saw him in a, uh, what? I think it was Wesley? Sly Fox's game. No, Wesley's game I saw. Yeah, definitely saw that. But like in Sly Fox's game when he used Denali and stuff, I saw that he had two, at least two in his deck. A Darmy starting off with an attack. What's important enough to try and get rid of here? Uh, I think he's just desperation at this point. Okay. Here hmm. comes King Chad. Didn't preen the Adarmy. I think that would have been kind of fun. I mean, rude. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. Like that. That would have been like, a, nah, I'll let it pass moment. Like, nah, it's fine. We'll just end the game real, real quick. All right, Zod up, grab power attack. You see a swing and a miss. Godino is giving himself probably power attack. Mm -hmm. I guess this Zod probably not running common blade. That would be a no, no, this okay, is I think he I think he runs one King's Lady, one Bramble. Right. Yep. Power the one one split. Should do it, and that'll be for two. Two wounds. And, and a third. We're going to game two. Gotta update my fancy graphics on the stream. Seeing edits in real life. Look at you all go. Game one goes to Zod. Alright. I do believe I do believe this Adarmi plays bandage um to cast with the the rosalies so but no uh and maybe reflect so maybe you know maybe we can get a reflect on a preen this time around Ooh, or, or winter warfare would be awesome That'd reflect be on really a preen would be cool i mean obviously danris can still just prevent the wound but um so like you just want just, wounds to be prevented though, have yes. them spend and then you can just kill them. Like it's, yeah. you're the wound from reflect to keep the Spencer alive is what's key. So bandage or reflect, but reflect is a little bit more spicy. Yeah. I uh, think this Adarmi deck has a lot more um 
a lot more power in this matchup than we saw in that game. I think some of the bandage or reflect to protect, you know, one copy of that to protect the Spencer, maybe a blazing medallion, ideally winter warfare, you know, any combination or maybe any combination of those three cards, I think would make the first turn a lot better. Celtic in the uh, chat or Celtic. I don't know if it's a hard CS off state, but he's saying that uh brick the plays both. So he's playing mm-hmm. bandage mm-hmm. and reflect, which is great call. Super good. Yep. Yep. Yeah, just got to, you know, now just have to draw them. The the, the first hand last game for Adarmu is not great. And if you stumble against Zod, it's, um, it's it's not a good thing. So As we see, he goes first action search for, search for staff, which means he doesn't have the Medusa and Lord's Might in his hand. <laughs> right. And Adarmu going to go ahead and use her order. Correct sequencing. Yep. Shows a depth ray, so still is kind of putting him on Medusa Lord's Might. I think, unless he, you know, unless his hand has two brothers. Nah, he, like, Gideo usually likes to do it right there. away. There right there. Is. Best card in the matchup in his deck. Perfect. We'll see if Godino is now we have good, a game. Enough, good enough to play around it. There are ways he can do it. It will be a pain, sure. but Danra should buy him some time. It's true. Starting off strong with a hit and then a preen react. And then now... Oh, oh, oh no. no. So no bandage, no reflect. No, that's bad. No anti draw from a Dharmi. That's too bad to not have the healing, or potentially, you know, maybe he just let that Spencer go and does have healing, but wants to wait for the Rosalie target. Um, you know, he's played this Adarmi yeah, through true. six rounds of Swiss, one round of top eight, and probably knows that that is, um, you know, that's more important. So maybe he's picking his battle there. I mean, at the end, very good for him. Uh, Godino didn't have a any type of react like back alley, so no punish there. Snuck it in before the Staff of Secrets. <laughs> and then Godino's going to remember, oh, wait, I grabbed that Staff. I need to go I need to go ahead and throw it out there. How much more draw does he have? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it's like, ah, oh, shit. Yep. Hun Adarmi looking very, very good this game, a lot better than last game. Yeah, well, uh, Godino still has five cards a wound. in his hand. So. Yep, Corrin should take a wound there. Yep. I think this is where, if we need to say something, we should. I was going to say <laughs> this. Yeah, it's a little confusing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got it. Yep. No, no, they, they're good. Go ahead and use Spencer. So not going to stack Spencer with the Rosalie, uh, which I agree with. I think that's that's good. You want every little percentage point to hit, you can you can get. Oh, he passed it. Passed the check. Clutch. Huge. No more preen this turn. No more offense at all. So Darmy's just free to, you know, go full greed and load somebody up with as many strikes as he can figure out and break these ranks, get this winter warfare going. He's got to hit first, though. Mm-hmm. Needs to hit. Must have at least one more character in the hand. I would hope so. We know Adept Ray is there. True. So he's probably saving the Adept Ray for the whatever her name is. What's her name? Yep. Rosalie. Rosalie. So if he has Adept Ray and Blazing Medallion, oh, this is going to be a nasty turn. And this Warner Warfare makes it so his meat takes two wounds to get to the front rank, which is key. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just turns him into one hit point characters. Yep. It is the card for the matchup. So this preen would stun. Yes, this preen is stunned. Yeah. Now nah, they got it under control. They do. Supply stunned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
moving back toward is that what I saw? Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. He has Durries in his deck too. Hmm. I thought he was doing it just to not fall. But yeah, that could be as well. No, it is for the Dury. Adeparate just going for it. Interesting. Not going for the preens. Nah, there's dude, you're fine. You want to try to get those the easier targets, you know, like the Donres, the eleven AC, just to sure. get your most out of the winter warfares. Yeah, path of least resistance. It makes sense. I just mm -hmm. uh as long as we don't leave a preen there for the second turn because Oh no, he's getting them. He's getting yeah. them this game. Yeah, he's definitely He's not... in a really good spot right now. Yep. He's definitely got a lot of power in his hand for sure. Still yeah. three cards. <laughs> three yeah. cards in the position that he's at uh Godino's in. Well in the way he's playing, you can kind of tell that oh finally he's using using the Rosalie. So this is probably his last character. <laughs> Godino not quite sure what to do with that Dury. Do we send it forward and take like, you know, a bunch of wounds? Yeah, like he'll so, just right, die one. by the time he hits to the front rank. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, well, he can not wick on this war spikes. Yep. Here comes Cun. There's the preen and a stunned preen comes forward. Dury, another wound. Man, this is, I mean, yeah, Winter Warfare is so good in Darmy. Yeah, Basically, yeah. multi Winter wounding. Warfare gets, especially uh, Godinho's deck mm -hmm. with Winter Warfare, it's just devastating. So 25 beefy characters dying by the time they hit the front rank. Yep. Yep, this is looking like a game three. We're all about it, especially if he has a second winter warfare. He wins initiative, drops that bad boy. Like that's true. He good. he may have too found good. one. Yeah, he he did meet. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> oh boy, <And> the Lenora. <laughs> yes, you love to see it. There you go. This was the gas that we wanted that we missed out on on the first game with Adderme. Two plus fives. So if he rolls a ten on either of these, Sod's stunned up with a wound on him. Yep. And Dury has one hit point left. Well, Zod's going to take a wound now, and if he hits his Dury, he's dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dury has four hit points. That's right. Mm-hmm. Wait, so spend characters, falling forward, become stunned. So Zod would just become stunned. Oh, Zod doesn't take two. And then, okay, I thought it was already two if you were stunned. And gotcha. suffer a wound. I'm thinking of some wizard spell. Probably. Missed the Dury, Force needs a 12. Or Frozen March, whatever it is. Has the blazing medallion. Here comes holy three from Kanaiko. Holy moly, this yep. hand was the nuts. It was. Either it was the nuts or the meat at the end found it for him. But yeah, this Either is Either way, this it powerful. doesn't matter. Like, yep. look at look at the Zod. Zod has no cards in his hand, played all this meat. And like, every time we've seen Go do this to people, he's won the game. Like, they couldn't get oh, through it. No, this two misses. He needs a 10. Much. This, if he misses, this is huge. Uh, there we go. That's a hit. Oh. That's a hit. I and then Godino I does not run Helm of Terror. Yep. yep. That was a scoop. Was a, was a scoop. There we go. We, we're at free baseball now, folks. Going to extra innings. No time limit. That was now we good. just saw probably the best of the best out of these two decks going at it. So this game should be good. I love how fast Godino plays. He's just, go, go. It's all just muscle reflex at this point. You have to. When you play Zod, the proper way to play Zod is to, oh, there, there it is. is. Saved but it from last game's hand. <laughs> you have to yeah. play Zod fast. If you play Zod slow, if you play any dwarf slow, it's going to make the opponent have a horrible time. So just play <laughs> faster. It does soften the blow, right? Yeah, because like usually you know, a normal dwarf deck takes 40 minutes for a game, as most people think. But you could you could pack that into fifteen. We see a cardinal's blessing is the search. So so he has the, you could assume that he has the Denali in hand. That's what he's done every single game that I've seen him play. 
Yeah. Does he play Back Alley Tavern? I don't, I don't believe, so. believe so. No, oh, I don't but see he Back passed Alley. the check. That's the first time Spencer yeah. passed. Huge. Hit both strikes. Winter oh, Warfare going again. This is that never give up attitude from Brick that we saw in game one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's just a force of nature. Plus five. Hits a Danris. Preens are already used. Both. Uh, I think he just used this one now. Okay. And he so made he it. The check. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Got a 14. Hit again. Four hits, two pass checks, and the Winter Warfare. Yeah, it's looking it's looking good, but you know we can't get too excited, you know. Gotta see what's in this hand, but this is a crucial hit right here because is he stunning Zod to two? Is he stunning Denali and giving up oh, the blessing? Right, oh, right. Wow. He's stunning Zod. Well, he only runs, I believe, one of each item in his deck, so you know he either has them in his hand and now has his chance to equip them, or he doesn't have them in his hand. So. Yeah, but like you still stun Zod in this position. That's just it's just, that's just odd to me. I guess he's hoping he can hit an item with Denali and use the Cardinal's blessing to get his AC out of there. Mm -hmm. I guess he's hoping twenty three twenty three AC can be tough for an army. No, it, it it absolutely is. Like it's not nothing to scoff at. Like twenty three AC get you through a lot, but this is we've seen what this deck can do last game. He still has four cards in his hand. I don't know, maybe his hand is not that great. That's maybe, what I'm thinking. Goodino's hand is not good. Double ML might. Imagine that with no shield. Oh, the card that's won him so many matches just bites him in the ass. It's tough because your your meets are relevant or, or barely relevant because of Winter Warfare. Your meat might as well be, you know, Timothy Winston or Shieldwall Knight. And yeah, it's just, that's tough. I think if he had had big beefy characters to play, he would have run them out already. You know, even just to buy time with one hit point. So I don't think he has characters to stall with. And Adarmi's free to use her order, no staff. All of King Zod's anti-aggro defenses are down. All the Danruses are gone. The Preens are used. And Adarmi's sitting with five cards. And there's still Both Rosalie's Rosalies. <laughs> unused. This, <laughs> this is incredible. It's going to be... It's going to take some... Poor rolling on Adarmi's part. Which we did see game one. So he's, it can he's, absolutely happen again. He's heated up. He's on fire, though. He hasn't missed any rolls this game. Yeah, and he's going to continue on with the heat. Yeah, that's just... Uh, that's that's hard to watch, too, when he just throws out an adept ray and it just attacks with it. The whole time you're looking at the two Rosalies and you're thinking, okay, you know, this is the character he's going to use them on. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, but, he but has, it never is. He has probably two or three more characters. In this yes. Game. Yep. And they all have two strikes and they all have plus five, plus five. And Winter Warfare is, yeah, is winning them this game. Celtic has changed the chant to ban a Darmy. <laughs> yeah, ban Winter what? Warfare. <laughs> yep. People, man, <laughs> it's stopping the Zod that is making us upset. We want to, stay yeah. Upset. So, Zod, so if Zod needs to be banned, <laughs> right? If Zod one... needs to be banned, but then Winter Warfare beats Zod, that means Winter Warfare needs to be banned. Two more to go, two down, two to go. Zod has nothing going on, just rolling that 18 like no problem. Is this so the Rosary with target? all of Chris's fans and viewers watching, you want to give us a hint and the changes of the Ancients list that you've been telling everybody about? Yeah, we're really kind of loath to ban Warlords. Uh, and I know, you know, the original uh, creators of Ancients were also loath to do that. It was really just Jockey Sign, right, that, that got banned. But we've kind of been eyeballing Havilland lately. You know, Havilland seeming kind of too powerful, especially considering this top eight. So... <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> no, no response. I love it. I we I've been joking in. Uh, no, in, just, in like, private. I, I just wasn't sure if you were serious about banning. No, Hamlin. no, no. no. I, <laughs> I've been I've been joking like, in private good. messages. <laughs> yeah, people have been messaging me and saying, "Hey, are you gonna are we gonna ban are we gonna ban a warlord or ban something or you know even though we're still in the middle of an event where we're you know trying to get some information from and you know probably a year or two out from you know if Zod absolutely dominates and it's clear that he's way too consistent for the next two years 
sure. <laughs> we'll, you know, we'll take a look at, at something like that. But um, in the moment, no, you know, and, and we're all kind of emotional. We've all lost rounds to, to, you know, this or that. And I know myself well enough to not make any type of uh, decision wound. in the middle of, so he's got you know, one something wound like left this. Right now, right? Yeah. yeah, this that's game right there. I, I believe you just hit uh, for that's game. That's a 20, 22. I think yep. you missed by one. Oh, no, because, yeah, he has a 23. Yep. I apologize. He has the Alliance Standard, unless I missed Oh, oh. my God. This hand was complete gas. <laughs> oh. There's nothing to stop this, man. These are plus 12s. Three plus 12s. Oh, man. And they ignore planar. <laughs> <laughs> just in case Zod has some shit up his sleeve. Oh, with the Boom. 20. Oh, with, with the 20. 20 ends it. That is game wow. match. Count it. And that ends. Change it on your graphic, Chris. It is changed. Oh, no, I didn't. Wow. I am just stunned considering what we saw game one. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's those Winter Warfares. Those Winter Warfares destroyed game two and put in, did a number on game three. I think his hand also. I wish he shows his hand right now. So we could get a look, but it's that was could yeah, not have been good. We will be joined by Britta and Gaudino eventually, just giving them obviously some time. But I think they were saying that they would jump in and uh, do a little post game, at least Britta for sure, because he's like, "Yeah, I'd love to talk about it." And this was before. I guess he kind of knew it was coming. <laughs> he, he felt he the, probably he probably knew that the Winter Warfare was going to stop this deck because that's what it definitely seems like. Well, the if other I went into the matchup with the confidence that he had going into it. Who boy! The other side of it is that this Adarmi build is probably the greediest thing you could possibly do with Adarmi. We're starting double Spencer Brother, which is a fine thing to do, but we're also starting double Rosalie. You know, which is a slow but and greedy thing. You know, you're giving your opponent the time to react to you giving putting strikes on something, and Godino just didn't have, you know, enough. Hey, hey, enough Brenda. response. Congratulations. Energy. Yeah. Congratulations on your match. Yeah, thanks. Damn, dude. Those so, uh, all right. I don't even know how do we do this little <laughs> sports uh, commentary we've seen. Like, just take us through it. Like, walk us through exactly what you were feeling after game one, where you couldn't hit uh, anything. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's just what what sucked. Um, typical fashion. Once every couple of games, I'll start missing everything, and that's exactly what happened. Game one, just everything missed. I, I got what three hits at the end of the turn, I guess. Maybe and, I think. Yeah, and that I just felt that was pretty much over, unless I could just knock him down next turn. But it was gonna get really hard, and that's exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, I mean that's just the game. And, and then so those, just waited for game two. Yeah, those game two and game three were just winner warfare turn one. Then yeah, the value you got out of that was just insane. Yeah, they did half of the work. It did half of the work. So Godino uh, has also joined us. How you doing, bud? I'm not so well now. <laughs> uh, I feel that one. Yeah, <laughs> but Oof. take us through it. What do you What do you feel like? What are your thoughts? Are you calling for a ban on Winter Warfare? <laughs> I will do that now. <laughs> no, but uh, I I know that that card can be really hard to, sh to shot but i don't know either that someone is playing that so i'm not expected when i saw the second match i i have like yeah i think this is become very very difficult but on the third one the the way that the game goes i i think i can't do nothing to win like i'm not so sad because i think it's like it's no no, a better way to play it. It's happened. Exactly. What was in your hand, if you don't mind us asking? You had Denali, which we saw, and you went and found Cardinal. What were the other cards? Uh, I, I have, I think Graves, Brutus, Helms, and I strength. If I play strength, he's is kill already himself because of Winter Warfare, and I become stunned. So, I. Oh yeah, he, he I, just take, he comes into play, takes three wounds, and dies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I, I can't play anything. Um, and when I I think I need to to go myself, and if I survive, I will try to to rebuild my ranks with three ranks. I play strength, and I will try this way. But if I I got only two ranks, and he 
one way or another, he'll grab me to the first rank. So it's not make difference because I will stay alone and I, he will gonna kill me. It's a matter of time. So I try to uh, remain with three ranks to play my, my characters and find a miracle, but it uh, can't be done. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. definitely a tough one with the Winter Warfare being played, especially against your deck with all that meat that you run. Everything just has one hit point once it hits the front. Right when yeah. you guys joined, yeah, I was also pointing out, I mean, this was probably the greediest Adarmi starting formation you can come up with, um, with the double Rosalie, the double Spencers and Brother, and that greed really pays off in a slow matchup like King's Odd. And the double Preen is a great at shoring it up, but Brickta, you made both those checks in game three. How good yeah. did that feel? How, how good um, did that feel? <laughs> that, that, that was great because I felt like, well, now I can keep going and keep the momentum going with, like you said, the greed. The, the whole point of my deck was just to be as aggressive as possible and get as many attacks off as possible, as soon as possible. I mean, the whole point of getting the Adept out and place gets another attack as soon as he comes into play, just as many mini strikes well, something's got to hit, and if you have more than 10, you'll probably knock out the first three characters at least. So, yeah. yeah. So, what do you feel for the final? Obviously, you still got another Zod waiting for you, but both of those are even slightly different builds than Gaudino. So, how are yeah. you feeling? Have you had a chance to see any of them in action yet? Um, I'm not, I, I, I think so. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I mean, there were so <laughs> many Zods. But... Yeah, and I guess, I mean, the one match I lost was against Ozad, and it was just, like, I guess, like my first game here, just missing stuff and, and then getting the wrong hand or the wrong cards in the wrong turn. Probably like the first match against me today. Yeah, and <laughs> as long as I get a Winter Warfare first turn, I mean, that's... That's yeah, that's. I was about to bring that up. Against both these odds that you're going up against, you've dropped Winter Warfare. We know Slice can't handle that because he can't get up to the front. Yeah. yeah. That'd be huge. And uh, the other side would probably be like similar to this one. The chat is sending on Twitch is sending you guys well wishes. And uh, Celtic, Brick, that he's telling you that you suck, but he loves you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't mind yeah. saying so. Just, just yeah, you talk some shit back to him. Go ahead. Tell <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I know. Go? I'll do it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Do it on on my behalf, please. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking scumbag. Okay, just, <laughs> just so you know what you're going to see in the finals, it'll be one of two decks. So uh, one of them is both of them are obviously King Zod, but one of them is basically like a brown bordered R tech, which I think maybe you played before, or you. I'm not sure if you've seen any coverage, but Sly Fox is playing that. Yens was playing it, and he basically, you know throws on King's Lady or Monkey's Paws or whatever, jumps up to the front and then plays uh, as aggressive as possible. And the other one is WOD, WOD, or, or Dow in real life. And he is playing like also an Uber Zod, but it's Uber Light. It's level seven items, your Blood Gods, Bassinets, and those kind of things. Between the two, which one do you think you'd rather face? Who are you rooting for in the other top four match? Um... I'm not really rooting for anyone, but I guess the best matchup for me or the one that will give me the most higher percentage of winning, I think, is Life Fox. Okay. Just because, like, yeah, as soon as a sword gets too big, I, I just can't hit. Even with bonuses, even with uh, the, the Lion Standard giving me another plus five, it just can't handle it. Sure. So if he's coming forward fast, and I mean, Winter Warfare will just stop him and he won't be able to do anything, so that. That's gonna help a lot. Very true. Yeah, that that card so uh, when, when you play against Artek, Artek is the green border dwarf. You know, green border Zod. Isn't that green what we should be saying? I think people need to play with the bins for an, a, at least as long <laughs> as people played with Artek before. I mean, Artek's done the same thing for ten years, so I think he has that uh, he has that title and is still holding on. Indeed, and we'll see some more action of that. I think tomorrow we got that matchup. Uh, Sly Fox will definitely be recording. Uh, maybe I can get some more commentary. We'll see how tomorrow goes. But um, with that, I will like to thank uh, our two players for letting us peanut gallery in the background. So, Brickta, congratulations and good luck in the final. And Godino, solid run, dude. Great job getting the top four in this field. 
And uh, you definitely got some coverage and some fans watching all of our streams because oh, after you, you watch crushed I, Slybox, I wrote, you crushed me, sorry. so everyone's seen it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, after watch uh, what I, I wrote in, in this channel, I think it's not my merit. Did deck play by himself? No, I'm just kidding. I play well. <laughs> but, uh, um, I I can't complain. I I just want to tell that because on the top eight, I the lucky was on my side against Wesley. It's not. A good matchup for me, and the luck pays me off. And this time, Brickta got the card, but this is the game, so it's normal. And I want to congratulate him, and I expect he won because I prefer to lose to the champion. <laughs> yeah, it's a great attitude to have, Godino. I really like hearing that stuff. Absolutely. Brickta, any final words for viewers? Uh, Well, I mean, thanks for cheering for me and yeah like before the match a couple like what half an hour before where you were talking to me and you just said that people were rooting for me because i wasn't the only shot it's true about, it's like no whole, pressure yeah they, yeah 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 no pressure there um but yeah i guess i was able to do it and yeah there we go thanks guys. all right so with that we'll get ready to sign off i'd like to thank my co-hosts woodrow and forge cake for joining us for commentary thanks guys maybe we'll have Anytime. you back Anytime. we'll see what's going to go on but check us out for maybe the other top four and the finals with that bid you all a farewell take it easy everybody mm-hmm.